guys welcome back to my channel on today's video we're going to be going over some duty and bird bags so if you're interested grab a snack and hurry back and let's chat hey welcome back i just want to welcome all my new and old subscribers back to the channel make sure if you hadn't already push that subscribe button we are so 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 close to that 1000 mark where we can celebrate so excited about that. So again, push the subscribe button, uh, turn on your notifications so that you never miss a video. And on today's video, we are going to be talking about Dooney and Burke. Now, Dooney and Burke back in the day was like my all time favorite, favorite bags. I used to purchase them all the time, but they kind of got put on the back shelf, I think. And I decided I'm going to make the purchase. I've been looking into the La Hueve puzzle bag. Super cute. Uh, kind of wanted the natural colored one. So I thought, hmm, it's quite a bit expensive. So I was looking at this little cutie patootie. And although it's not the La Hueve bag, it really does remind me a lot of it. Uh, this is from Dunia Burke. It is the Florenstein Satchel uh, Collection. This is the smallest size, which is the Nano. They also come in a micro, which is quite a bit big, maybe a medium and a large. And the reason you see her mama back here is because I'm not sure if they come this large now, but I bought this one probably 10 years ago. And as you can see, she is in great condition. And I wanna say, I have not treated this bag the best. Now here lately, I've stuffed her and put her back in her dust bag, but I really didn't give her the love that she deserves. So even with that being said, look at that great condition these are made of i believe uh italian leather they have a fully suede texture on the inside uh stitching little pockets and the little baby bags this little nanu has all the same details as the large one. So they didn't skimp out when they made the little nano versions. Again, uh, all Italian leather, super durable. I really like when they get little scratches on them, you can just rub it out kind of with your fingertips. This uh, natural color will patina, so it'll get a little bit darker, but I am loving it. I love the brown stitching there. In the little green there on the inside and on the tassels some of the other colors I think may they may or may not have the green I'm not real sure this one still has the green on it so don't hold me to that but love this on the inside she has let's see here a zipper pocket on one side and then like a slip pocket there on the other side I have all my goodies in it because I hit the floor running when I got it. Little key uh, hook so you can hook things, your keys or whatever, coin purse on it if you like. But so cute. The downfall to the Dooney and Burke satchel here is she can be a little heavy because it has, like I said, all the finest leather feet and we all know here lately it's hard to find a bag with feet on the bottom. So feet on the bottom with, you know, fully leathered handles. So this is a really, really well-made bag. I have to give that to Dooney and Burke. The zipper on the bag, butter, little red there. So, so, so cute. I love all the little details. With her being brand new, she is still a little stiff, but even over this couple of weeks, she has gotten to be a little softer. So, super cute. Comes with 
an adjustable strap here. So it is short and tall girl friendly. I am 5'5", five five, and I put mine on the shortest little area. So if you're tall, like I said, you could just, you know, bring them out on both ends there and make it longer. So see, she hits in a really comfortable spot here. Like I said, it's so cute. Get your hand in and out of there super easy, you know, with it being a little mini bag. And she does hold quite a bit. So I didn't overstuff it. Just kind of what's been in my uh, other bags, you know, wallet here, receipts, my little badge holder for work. I keep my little hand sanitizer, my key fob. So she does hold your cell phone. So for sure that little pouch here, I keep my lip glosses in and my breath strips. So she will hold a ton more, but like I said, I just switched over from, from my other mini bag and put all my items in here. Fit really, really well. My other little bag held my phone, but it was a squeeze to get it in there, but they did hold it. But this one here holds everything really nicely. Like I said, you could do it by the top handle or by the strap here. So super, super cute. Uh, brush gold there. So, not much has really changed over the years because, like I said, this one I've had for a couple of weeks. And this one has to be 10 years old. Same brush gold. Hasn't faded or anything. I'm sure this one came with the strap and I probably have it uh, in my straps because I would always hold this one by the top handle. So, super great handbags. So, if you want the quality of a luxury handbag without that price, I definitely would say give Dooney and Burke a look. Now these bags, they don't come, you know, with the boxing and all that, but once we take the bag out of the box, it's gone. It did come with this dust bag. So you have the dust bag to put it in and whatnot. And like I said, these are great quality. Uh, this nano size, which also come in so many super, super cute colors. At least, I'm going to say six or eight, maybe even more. But so many super cute colors in all the different sizes. The nano size, I want to say the regular price was, this doesn't say, but I'm thinking $4.30 maybe. And... They were offering a sale because I purchased this one on Black Friday. So I think I got this for $2.58. So you cannot beat that for a all Italian made leather handbag with feet. Can't beat that. So loving this little Tori and Birch mini, or I should say Nanu, because the mini is bigger, but this is the Nanu size. Florentine satchel. Super cute. Love, love, love this natural color. Uh, looking forward to seeing how, you know, she darkens up just a little bit here. I think it's still going to be so, so cute. The little tassels here, they are going a little while. So uh, I saw where some people, when they get ready to store the bag, they wrap them. So I'll probably do that. I'm not too, too worried because again, I hadn't done that to my pink one, and she looks great. So, love it. Just wanted to pop on and give uh, all us girls and guys a different option. Like I said, if you want the same quality without spending that crazy price, check out Dooney and Burke because they have so, so many bags um, outside of the Florentine collection that you can purchase Super great quality bags without that enormous price tag. So, 
If you have any questions, feel free. Let's chat in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts on Dooney and Burke because I know, like I said back in the day, they were the rage. I think they kind of just kind of got, you know, put on the uh, shelf and forgot about. But dig them out. Check them out. Go look at them. And let me know. Do you have Dooney and Burke? Are you looking at them? What's your thoughts? Again, thank you for spending some time with me today. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications. And I shall see you guys on the next video. Have a great week. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. So when we're not sure of how to put together all black, mix up your textures. It will add dimension and just a little flavor to an all black look. So I did all black today. This is just an oversized button down shirt love the texture of it it's kind of like a waffle texture here so love it hopefully you can see that teamed it up with just a very comfortable pair of black trousers these have this little piping down the front of it little gold detail there with the button and I oh I should say silver I teamed it up and mixed in some silver jewelry so it's okay to mix your metal so I love gold but I have the silver and gold on the watch so I added in some silver pieces but like I was saying just a straight leg pair of trousers and I teamed this up with some ankle boots here just a patent leather pair of ankle boots so love this look this shirt has this little slit in the back there so super cute love it so although it's all black different dimensions of texture and fabrics so super comfortable yet cute and chic my scent of the day is the creed adventist for her and i teamed this all black look up with my super cute new dooney and burke natural color bag so so cute love it you could add any pop of color bag if you like but kind of kept it neutral here so love this look so hope you enjoy my outfit of the day bye now